dated June 2nd, 2022. I would like to point out um, that we have seven members present, including myself, and that represents a quorum, so we are able to do business today. Um, I'll take this minute to remind the board members to please verify that your microphone is on before you start speaking. Please speak directly and clearly into the microphone at all times as we're being, um, as we are being audio and videotaped. I'll go ahead and begin um, introductions of the board. Let's go ahead and start on my left. Matt Jones. Jack Farrell. David Alzamora. Paul Roberts. Thank you, everybody. We're going to follow the agenda directly today. Um, the first order of business is approval of the minutes for the May 5th, 2022 Planning and Zoning Board meeting. Um, can I get any additions or corrections, please? Anybody? Hearing no additions or corrections, can I get a motion to approve? The May 5th, 2022 Planning and Zoning Board meeting for the Village of Pinehurst um, minutes as written. I move to approve the minutes of the May 5th, 2022 regular meeting as written. Second. Motion made by David Almazora and second by Sonia Rostein. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the minutes from the May 5th, 2022 Planning and Zoning Board meeting for the Village of Pinehurst is approved as written. Our second order of business is general business. Um, we're going to turn it over to staff. We have Alex Cameron with us today as the liaison from the village of Pinehurst for, to the board. And um, Alex, I'll go ahead and turn it over to you to get an update on the future agenda items that's gonna come before us. Sure, so you guys uh, may be aware that at the last council meeting, the uh, development moratorium was extended. We hope to have the small area plans for, at a minimum, for Village Place um, on the council agenda for the June 14th meeting, so their first meeting in June for their consideration. So as we um, see how that plays out with your guys' recommendation that you were able to, um, to come to, um, we'll see how um, the discussions play out at the council level so we can uh, begin moving forward with um, hopeful imp implementation of such plans and um, which will then also require you guys to um, roll up your sleeves a little bit more and really sink our teeth in, in, into, uh, again, implementing those plans. Um, so this update, basically those two uh, topics obviously are very much related. Uh, another upcoming agenda item for you guys, we are in receipt of an application for uh, basically an amendment to a conditional district rezoning, and this is in reference to the uh, recently approved uh, last year, the Resort Lodge conditional district rezoning. Um, the proposal that we have would extend that boundary out more into the parking lot area and would also allow for a basically a two-level parking structure, um, most of the, the lower level being subterranean to use into the grade, um, and some other maybe uh, modifications to the, uh, the footprint of the approved lodge structure, um, a less intense, if you would. So we are in receipt of that, a neighborhood meeting we understand was recently held for that, so we're awaiting receipt for the minutes for that, which is a, a, a re required um, a document to be part of a completed application. The technical Review Committee has been reviewing some of the, the early conceptual plans for that and um, have provided some, some feedback. So that will be coming up soon with you guys. Once we receive the rest of the information, we'll be able to start looking better at scheduling and what time uh, or what meeting date that could fall based on our notice requirements we have to. That is all that we are aware of, of items that we know will be coming up. So again, the small area plans for Village Place we hope to have on the council agenda docket for the June 14th meeting. Um, following how that goes, we can start um, beginning to uh, work later on on implementing those plans and some code changes that we need to make. And then you will have a conditional district rezoning application for you guys, or at least an amendment to such. Thank you, Alex. Is that all? That's it. All right. Anybody else have any general business, any questions, um, any points you'd like to make? Any general business at all? 
Um, we know the you know, next meeting date is July 7th. Um, I know that is close to the July 4th holiday sometimes. Um, you know, that, that may be problematic for attendance. So just if, if you guys know if the next, uh, say, month to 45 days, pending if we do get some requests for a, a special meeting based on notice deadlines for that conditional district rezoning application. If, if, if you know for sure you're going to be out of town for a while in the next couple months, if you just let us know so we can schedule appropriately. Good point. That's a good point. I'll make sure you have my schedule. Um, anybody else? Just one last time as we kind of go around and we look to end this meeting. It's a brief one today um, just to keep it open a couple more minutes. I know you guys are all itching. Um, okay, so hearing none, can I get a motion? Well, actually, let me go ahead and remind everybody again on top of Alex that the next meeting is, um, it will be July 7th, 2022. So same, same points as Alex. And with that, can I get a motion to adjourn today's uh, meeting? Make a motion we adjourn today's meeting. Second. Motion made by Sonia Rostein, second by Jack Farrell. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, we are closed.